So this is the clean room where we are basically housing the spacecraft for the different tests that we're doing while in Dubai. The reason that it has to be in a clean room, we have to maintain a cleanliness level for the, uh, basically for the instruments that we have on board the spacecraft. You guys saw the process coming in here is not an easy process. It takes a while. We wipe down everything, making sure we're not cross-contaminating anything to the spacecraft. Since we're not landing on Mars, the cleanliness level is different than a mission that will land on Mars. But the detectors are sensitive to particles, so that's why these clean rooms are made in a way that the particle numbers or the counts are within a maximum number. And uh, for the instruments itself, they have to be even better than that, a 10K. So for us to be able to accommodate that, we have a purge basically that's purging nitrogen to the instruments, making sure there's nothing going inside and it's purging it purging it with nitrogen the whole time uh, it's uh, with the spacecraft being here. For example, if your detector has some um, particles on it, that will basically degrade the performance of that instrument. The propulsion system, if let's say we have some particles in there that we're not happy with, it can actually stop us from operating it the way we want it to. Like making, let's say we open a valve, there's a particle in there, we're not able to shut it, to close it, so we will have an open valve, which is something we don't want. So again, it all depends on the particle count, and the particle size, So, but it's something we don't even try to explore to understand. We just make sure this is as clean as we can.